It was a dark and stormy night. Sarah and her group of friends were huddled around the campfire, telling stories and trying to keep warm. The wind howled outside, and the rain beat against the windows of the cabin they were staying in. Suddenly, they heard a noise outside. Sarah got up to investigate, and she saw a figure in the bushes. The figure was wearing a hooded cloak, and it was difficult to see its face. Sarah called out to the figure, but it did not respond. Instead, it began to move closer to the cabin. Sarah's friends were starting to get scared, and they begged her to come back inside. Sarah did not know what to do. She was scared, but she did not want to leave her friends alone. She also did not want to confront the figure. Sarah decided to go back inside and lock the door. She did not want to take any chances. Her friends were safe, and that was all that mattered. The figure reached the cabin and pounded on the door. Sarah's friends were begging her to let them in, but she was too scared. She knew that if she let the figure in, it would be the end of all of them. Sarah's father tried to reason with her, but she would not listen. She was determined to keep her friends safe. The figure kept pounding on the door, and eventually, it broke through. Sarah's mother screamed as the figure entered the cabin. Sarah and her friends were huddled in a corner, and the figure began to approach them. Sarah was shaking, and she knew that there was no way out. The figure reached out and grabbed Sarah. She screamed as it began to drag her away. Her friends were trying to help her, but they were too scared. Sarah was struggling to free herself, but the figure was too strong. It dragged her out of the cabin and into the night. Sarah's screams echoed through the woods, and then she was gone. The figure took Sarah into the woods, and she continued to scream. Her friends were trying to follow, but they were too scared. The figure eventually came to a stop, and Sarah was now face to face with a creature that she had never seen before. The creature was born from the darkest parts of her nightmares, and she knew that she was going to die. The creature killed Sarah in a slow and tortuous way, and her screams echoed through the woods. Her friends were still trying to find her, but they never did. They only found her body, and they knew that there was no coming back from this. The creature takes Sarah's body back to its lair, where it begins to feast on her flesh. Sarah's screams continue to echo through the woods, haunting her friends who are left behind. They will never forget what happened to her, and they will never be able to shake the image of her body being devoured by the creature. The creature continues to feast on Sarah's flesh, relishing in the taste of her raw flesh. Her screams have long since died down, but her friends can still hear them echoing in their minds. They are completely horrified by what they have witnessed and can do nothing but sit and mourn the loss of their friend. The creature was still feasting on Sarah's flesh when her friends decides to take action. They devise a plan to take the creature down and avenge Sarah's brutal death. They succeed in killing the creature and burning its body. Sarah's friends then bury her in the forest and say their final goodbyes.